Hi everybody, Donna here with Nurse Sarah Tarot. I am doing a reading for you for your midweek harmony. So this is your midweek harmony reading. I am going to pull a card just to kind of set the tone for the week, okay, or for the midweek. And this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot. So with the Heaven and Earth Tarot, we have the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is very powerful, okay? They know what they want. They know what they want to do. They have lots of passion. They demand, you know, um, um, well, they're assertive, right? They're very, very assertive. They demand attention. They, they have wonderful ideas. Um, they're very supportive, but at the same time, they need to be engaged, okay? They're always moving in some direction. So it looks to me like your midweek is going quite well, where you are kind of, you know, in the mix and you're doing things that you need to do. So let's put that there. And then, um, then we're going to be using... Um, the um, Tarot of the Witch's Garden for your reading, okay? So let's have a look here. So Tarot of the Witch's Garden. So, so we look at love, work, and obstacles, okay? And then we will do clarifying in that as well, all right? So in love, we have the Three of Swords. So I feel like it's going to be a tough, a tough week, okay? So your midweek, there's gonna be some, some upset, some heartache. And maybe it's just in your mind, you just know things are not going the way they're supposed to be going. Or you're feeling lonely or unlovable, you know, if you're single or if you're in a relationship that is not fulfilling you, right? Whatever the case, I feel like you have the power to change this. You need to look at things in a different light. So let's move through this reading and see, okay? But you need to identify your passions. Start there. Go with your passions instead of staying in this state of everything is not going right when it comes to love, right? So when it comes to work, we have the sun. And you guys know me. Um, you know, the sun is the best card in the deck. And I just I just love the sun. Um, not all tarot readers agree, but <laughs> for me, right? I think we all have our favorites and the sun is mine. So yeah, so I, I just feel like uh, work is going to go fabulous. So by midweek, you are on top of your game. It's going very, very well. If you own your own business, you are doing superbly, okay? So you've accomplished something or you're near completion of something that you've been hoping you've been doing or if you're on a deadline for something, things are coming along really, really well, okay? Okay. And then we have kind of obstacles or things that are stopping you, things you need to be aware of. And we have the death card. So new beginnings, right? When something old kind of dies or goes away or falls apart, there's always a new, right? And this indicates there's always a new, you know, but it just means that you have to be willing to let go. Let go of what's not working in your life. Maybe it's the relationship. Whatever's not working, or maybe it's your ideas about being in a relationship that needs to go, right? Whatever this is, let it go. And then you have so much more that is going to come back to you, okay? But it is not an easy thing to do. This is going to be difficult, okay? So let's clarify a little bit. We have the Ace of Swords and the Tower. Okay, so to me, this is a clear indication that, you know, all your ideas coming at you and coming at you, and you're just, you're just, you're just riddled with, with pain, with upset, with doubt, with self-loathing, you know, and I don't know where it's all coming from, but you want, you want to change that attitude. 
I know it's hard, but the rebuilding will, will come, okay? So either rebuilding what someone you're with, rebuilding what someone knew, or just rebuilding your own self-worth, right? It can be as easy as that. So love doesn't always have to be romantic. It can be family. It can be uh, friends, it can be yourself. So yeah, so I do see this as very upsetting, but you know, so you just need to do some research. You need to look inside yourself, figure out what is the truth? What is the truth? And listen to that and pay attention to what the truth is and make it happen. Okay. So get rid of these false fears, get rid of these ideas, these things that you're saying yourself come up with some new dialogue, make yourself a new story, okay? And let the others fall away. And then with work, I think it's gonna go really, really well, okay? We have the sun. We do have the five of pentacles, which, you know, um, may lead, which may, which may stay that maybe you're not feeling that you are paid enough or you wish you know, you wish there was more room for growth, something like that, okay? But overall, I feel you're very, very content with your job. You see the rewards coming back to you. Maybe it's too slow, you're a little impatient, but I still see this as being very, very good. Don't let the worries about not being successful or not being where you think you should be right now make a difference in your life because sometimes we have really high expectations that are unnecessary and unwarranted okay and then you know on top of death we have the fool and we have the king of cups so to me this is saying that yeah although you have to let go of something you are going to find your freedom right? The fool is about new beginnings. So you are finding freedoms. You are finding your way. You are going to take a risk. You're going to take a leap of faith. And I believe that you are going to meet somebody, okay? And this is going to cause you to look at things in a different light. Now, this could be a good friend. This could be you know, somebody that just points you in the right direction. It could even be a counselor that you talk to and they kind of, you know, give you um, new things to think about. Or maybe you read an article or something, or maybe this reading helps you. Whatever the case may be, you know, allow your emotions to lead you a little bit, okay? Get out of your head. You're stuck in your head and you need to get out of your head, okay? So, yeah. So now I am going to use, these are Because I Love Myself by Lucy Cavendish. These are her cards. And I'm going to pull one of these. I'm going to pull three of them to end the reading. So let's see what these say. Okay, the first one is, I nourish myself when I eat, what I eat nurtures me. I give thanks before each meal. Nourishment and energy flow through every cell with every morsel. Only goodness shall enter my body. Appreciation. It is easy to find wonderful things about me to appreciate. I have so much to be grateful for just because I am me. And then cherish my history. I cherish where I've been in life. There is no part of my past that cannot be useful to me because of it. I am the person I love and appreciate so much today. So those are beautiful. Really have a good look, okay? And listen and let, you know, get out of your head and change that negative thought into these. These are wonderful to use as affirmations. So I see your week as going very, very good for work. A little bit upsetting when it comes to relationships. Well, quite a bit upsetting. Just not what you were wanting. But there's hope. So I do feel the hope is there. And it's very, very strong. So have a wonderful week. And see you again next week. Bright blessings.